Ralph, thank you very much for sharing your insights into the future CFO. But Appreciate before it. we go to the future, can you tell us a little bit about your own background? Yeah, my background is I trained as an engineer, but I'm an engineer and uh, worked as an engineer for a couple of years. Right. Uh, I then did an MBA, which was an opportunity to transition out of engineering, and I went to financial services. So I worked for Old Mutual um, in various roles yeah. for up to 17 years, and then you know eventually made another change, which was now from financial services to telecommunications. So yeah, that's a bit of my background. In like in, in a minute. What so, was your dream career when you grew up? My dream career was to go to the moon. <laughs> really? <laughs> I wanted to be an astronaut, but uh, sometime, uh, I think maybe I was about 10 or 11, somebody said, no, Africans don't go to the moon, which I thought, and that's, now I reflect, but that was not great advice, and I should have listened to it, but uh, I am where I am. So I, wanted be, I wanted to go to the moon, I wanted to be an astronaut. It's but never too late. It's never too late. Who knows? Maybe I can still do it. So Ralph, who inspired you in your young days? No, oh, it's my parents. My mother and my father, um, you know, uh, were and remain source of inspirations for me. Uh, you know, they gave me a foundation in life, a sense of values, and belief that education can uh, can overcome many things. And uh, so I'm eternally grateful to them. They were my they were my heroes. Uh, you know, growing up, um, you know, I've developed other people that I've looked up to. I look up to my wife. Right. My brother is a real partner for me. Who. Um, you know, in my mind, I, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without her. Um, and yeah, and then the other people I look up to, the great business people uh, in South Africa, Kutuba Kleko, I look uh, uh, people like Strive Masiwa in Zimbabwe, Aliko Dangote, many great other Africans who I look up to and say, you know, these people are putting us, uh, making us proud as Africans right. on the continent. And looking into the future of, how would you expect the role of the CFO to change? No, I think there's some fundamental changes that are on the way for the CFO. Um, I think increasingly uh, the CFO role is becoming a, a strategy role, um, an understanding of you know where the, the company is or the organization is and needing to go forward. And the need to translate uh, the financial performance of the business within the context of strategy, I think firstly is a big shift in transition coming forward. So good CFOs in the future really need to be strategic in their approach and their mindset. That's the first thing. The second is that I think with machine learning and artificial intelligence coming through, I think the, the decision support and the decision making capacities of CFOs and their teams more broadly, I think that also is going to change. Because we have to deal with a lot more ambiguity than we deal with now. And so th 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 there is a need for you know agility. The third area is really around ethical leadership. Right. I think you know CFOs are going to be seen increasingly as the stewards, not of, only of capital but of sustainability, doing the right things for the company. So those are some of the major shifts I see in the CFO role. Um, and as I said, it's about strategy, it's about agility, it's about stewardship. Those are the the shifts I, you know that I think we are in the process of, of that evolution. In three to four years time, my mind is super clear that that's what you'll be looking for in a good CFO. So Ralph, when you speak to aspiring leaders, what is it you tell them about the challenges, the biggest challenges they are likely to encounter in their career? Look, there are many challenges will come from all, uh, many areas, but I think the first thing um, you know is, is, is to be resilient. Mm -hmm. You need to build an internal capacity to be resilient. You know, things are not always going to you know, go well. You are going to fail. There are going to be problems, but that resilience factor is super critical. Not only for the CFO, but for anybody who's looking for success. The second area is an ability to constantly learn and reinvent yourself. Right. There's going to be a need for constant re uh, renewal and reinvention that, that uh, CFOs are going to be fo uh, forced uh, you know, you know, to, to deal with. And that's, that, that's going to be super important. And I think the final thing uh, you know, you know, is an ability to communicate, to communicate effectively. Those are some of the things that I think uh, you know, uh, you know, facing us down the road. And last but not least, Ralph, if you were to put together a curriculum for the future CFO, what are the new skills you would want to factor in? Well, I think a CFO should, should, should always, you know, be technically competent or have the ability to be technically competent between themselves and the team. So I think that will always be, and by that, that issue is taken, you know, probably for granted, that, you know, you're always going to need this. But as I said, leadership, uh, you know, ethical leadership, um, you know, the ability to be agile 
and the ability to reinvent yourself. I think those things are super, super important. Well, Ralph, thank you very much for sharing your insights Not and your wisdom Thank you so into much. the future. Thank you so much. Thank